Let's build something new. Using nested if statements, we're going to build an application that translates English sentences into French or Spanish. The program will first ask the user to enter a short sentence and pick one of the two languages. The program will match each English word in the sentence with its equivalent word in the selected language. We'll start with a simple sentence. Programming is fun. The code we'll write for this task allows the program to translate one word at a time. It'll be automatically executed for each word in the sentence. Now, let's jump into the code editor. First, replace the question mark in the outer if statement with a condition to check if the value of the variable lang is equal to the string fr. Before we move on, notice that there's already one nested if statement. This one checks if the variable word is equal to programming. If this is true, we assign translated word the French word for programming. You'll also notice that this if statement looks a bit different from the usual if statements. That's because the entire if statement, including its code block, is on a single line. Programmers do this sometimes to shorten the length of the code. Don't worry, it doesn't change how the code works in any way. With that clear, let's add the code to translate the two other words. Add an if statement to translate the word is and another if statement to translate the word fun. Both code blocks should assign the variable translated word its French equivalent. When you're done, run your code to see what happens. If the program doesn't translate the first word properly, don't worry, we'll fix it later.